Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint and guess what we're doing today? Oh, ooh, a Frankenstein. And I have a very special guest. What's your name? Luna. Luna, how old are you now, Lou? Seven. Seven, oh my goodness. And what's your favorite color? Green. Ooh, ooh. oh yeah. Which is perfect because we're gonna make Frankenstein green. Mm -hmm. So the supplies we have is we have already the outline printed on our watercolor paper. Now, if you don't have this, you can print this out, go to our outline library and you can type in Frankenstein and you can print this out and join us. We have our brushes, we have our palette, and we have lots of colors. Lou, do you wanna squeeze them? Yeah. So we have an emerald green, we have tangerine, we have berry blue, and we have a purple. So you can grab any colors that you have and then make sure you also have a paper towel. Now, oh, while Lou's squeezing, let's introduce you to our cameraman, Keenan, who you may hear in the background. Hello. Oh, and he made this one. Oh, I painted that one time. Look what he made. I gave him a tie. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is I'll help you, Lou. You squeeze the blue, and then we got orange. So we squeezed out all of our colors. Nice. I think the green needs a little more. It's okay. Well, we're gonna use a lot of green, so that's good. Okay, so the first step is let's raise your right hand, raise this hand, and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, so our first step is is grab your paintbrush, any size that you have, and dip in your water. Okay. You can go small or big. And let's start with Frankenstein's face. So pick up some green. Let's go top, let's start with the top part. So we're gonna paint. So Ooh, his forehead? His forehead. The very top is his black hair. Oh yes, thank you. So the top is his black hair, so we're painting his forehead right now. Got and you're it. gonna go over the scar. Ooh. And here's the thing, if you go over the lines, it's okay. It's okay. And you know even more why it's okay? Because we're gonna paint over it with his hair. Oh, which is dark. Yeah. So Lou, you're doing so good. So we're gonna start with his forehead. Then, there's a few different parts that we're looking at. So, on our Frankenstein, let's see. Let me show you. So his ears, we're gonna paint green. And then this whole part, so all his face is next. And then we'll do his eyes. If you want his eyes to be green, you can paint his eyes green too. Boom. Do you need more green? Yep, oh, <laughs> run away. So we're gonna paint his eyes green. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we need a lot. And Keenan actually told us a fun fact about Frankenstein that we didn't know. I did. You wanna share it with everyone? Frankenstein is actually not the monster's name. What is the monster's name? Good question. Harold, Gary, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> really? No. I, <laughs> Let me look it up for you. <laughs> Wait, why isn't that his real name? You gotta explain. So Frankenstein, as we normally see him, is actually Frankenstein's monster or Frankenstein's creature. Oh. Often he is referred to simply as Frankenstein. But... He was Frankenstein's monster. Oh, so there was actually a person named Frankenstein. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. That. Good job, Blue. Yeah, use your big brush. That might help for this big space. You can paint the whole thing. Whoa! Look at that color. Now, let's see. The other thing is that if you want your eyes, so on your eye rings, there are a few different colors. So we're gonna make the very inside black, but then this middle ring is actually the color of his eyes. So do you want his color, eye color to be green? Do you want it to be orange? Whatever color you want. Blue. You wanna do blue? Okay. 
So the doctor's name is Victor Frankenstein. Victor. Oh. Yep. <laughs> wow, I did not know that. I is know. That blue? Let's see. I think that's black. So you're gonna do blue? Yeah, do blue. That's purple. Actually, can before we do that, so this is the blue. Before we do that, can I show you something? Okay, mm -hmm. dip in your green again, and I want to show you a trick. Okay, so underneath his forehead, I want you to go like this, and I just want you to paint a little stripe. Yeah. And under here, so in the middle. Yeah. Yep, and on the other side. So we're gonna make it kind of look like his forehead's popping out, and then one more, two more spaces inside the ears, because you know how in your ears that there's a hole, it goes deep in there. Yeah. So paint the inside of your ears. So we're painting it a darker green. Nice. Okay. Now let's clean your brush and I'm going to do what Lou did and go for your small brush and you're going to paint the eyes. So you're going to do blue. Mm. So really lightly touch. Yeah. Get some off really lightly touch. You see that middle ring? Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to really lightly touch the paper and maybe I'll do orange to mix it up. So to help, you're gonna really lightly touch the paper. If you hold your paintbrush up and down and you just really lightly touch the paper, that'll help you get in that middle ring. Nice, Lou. And clean your brush. Okay, and then we're gonna paint the hands. So at the very bottom, we're gonna paint the hands and go all the way to the bottom of the paper because the hands go all the way down. So you got one hand, other hand. Now, next step is we're gonna paint Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster, his jacket. What color do you wanna paint the jacket? Purple. Purple? Okay, so Ooh, we got that good one. Good color choice. That one's purple. So I'm actually gonna go, Lou, do you wanna use your big brush because this is a big area or do you like your small one? Okay, let's do big. Whoa. So we're gonna use our big brush and we're gonna dip it in purple. And so the outside of his jacket is this whole part and then paint around the nail, okay? Okay, next step, we're gonna clean our brush. Let's set it off to the side for a second. And we're gonna make black. We don't have black right now. So to make black, do you wanna do it? Yeah. Do three drops of blue. Of blue. One, two, three. And three drops of orange. And that will make a black, kind of a brown. We'll see, we're gonna experiment. Can I do it? Or do you wanna do it? You do it. Whoa, look what you made! You made black! Good work, Lil! Good job. So we're gonna use that black. Now, if you need to make more, you know the ratio, so it's just the same amount of blue and the same amount of orange, and you're gonna paint the hair. So paint the top of his head or the hair. Black. Ooh, yeah, Lou got some purple, so she's gonna mix in some purple. Ooh, we were saying what if his hair was purple or even tie-dye hair. That would be fun. Tie-dye hair would be really interesting. Very 90s. Very 90s. Oh yeah, this tangerine's hard to squeeze out. Can you mix that together for me? The blue looks here, we'll add more orange right here. There we go. Nice, so we're gonna paint his hair. And here's the part, all of these spiky parts. Yeah, like you did that. You can go over the green. You can make mm. other hair. Maybe your Frankenstein has curly hair. I don't know, you get to make it whatever you want. Ooh, <laughs> what's that? Yeah. Curly hair. Curly hair. <laughs> your Frankenstein's curly hair, I love it. Okay. Now, so do you see how there are a few more spots? So let's paint over the scar. Black. Yeah, so paint over the scar. Can you add like two more curls, Luna? Yeah. 
Nice. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> you want more black? So keep, okay, so you have the scar, so you have that line, and then yeah, you're gonna add the mm -hmm. line to cross it. Yeah, do his lips. Yeah, do his lips, and then his nose. So his lips and his nose. I'm not gonna do that. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. The nails. Yeah, the nails are black. Yep, the nails are black, good job, good idea. And then the other part that's black, is the inside of his eyes. So I want you to paint the inside, but leave that little circle white. Or try to. It's okay if you don't. But you can lightly just press again. Remember, you can lightly press the paper. Do you think Frankenstein's monster has good posture or, or no? <laughs> probably not. Don't think so? I he's, think he has a crooked back. He probably does. <laughs> Fun. Ooh, you get to add stripes. You can add more designs to it. Actually, that's one more part. Is do you see this line right here? Mm -hmm. Add black over there so it'll pop. So add a line of black. So that's where the the jacket and the sleeve kind of go together. Ah. So it just pops a little bit more. Nice. Okay. Now let's do what color shirt is your Frankenstein wearing? There, that one of those, an orange. Yeah, oh, cool. So you're gonna paint this part because this is his shirt. So you get to design the shirt. Ooh, nice, Luna. Nice, Lou. You added stripes? Yeah. So yeah, maybe your shirt's striped, maybe it's polka dots. Maybe it's got angles in it. Maybe it just has the big letter F in the middle of his shirt. <laughs> for, for <laughs> He's representing. Represent. Nice. So this is where you get to be creative. You can add more designs to your jacket. Nice, Luna. You can add more designs to your, your shirt. So a few ideas, you can keep going, Lou, is when this is dry, Keenan painted this actually, and he added a tie to his, but his was fully dry, because if you add it, it'll bleed. Yeah, I waited a while. So that's an idea. Maybe you add more other stripes to yours. And I drew my tie first with a pencil. I didn't, it made it a little easier for myself. He likes to do that. I like to make sure I see what I can, I can paint what I see. <laughs> but then we're done. Whoa. Look what you did. Luna, you I love, love your it? Frankenstein's Ooh, monster. Yeah, Lou's adding some polka dots. Ooh, nice. So you get to be creative. And look at yours has little splatters on it. Cool. So you can design the background if you want. You can have so much fun. So the last thing is we wanna see what you make. So as you make yours your own, we want to see, so we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. And we have a shout out to give. We want to show you a photo of Caroline and Eleanor. And they did our rainbow lollipop project. So it's fun because maybe you add some, some swirls and some rainbow colors like they did to your yeah. background. So Eleanor and Caroline, big shout out to you. Thank you for painting with us. Good job. And thank you, Lou, for painting with me. I love all the stuff. You're adding more sprinkles, confetti. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you had so much fun painting this. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.